hi friends welcome to oracle tutorials in this video we are going to uh, discuss about equijoin also we will see non equijoin friends so before coming to our topic if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future consider subscribing also uh, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get the notification message whenever we upload a new video okay so we will see what is this equijoin equijoin returns the matching column values from the specified tables equijoin uses comparison operator that is equals in the where clause to refer equality equijoin will not allow other comparison operators uh, such as uh, less than greater than less than or equals so greater than or equals etc okay better we will see some examples uh, how to implement this equijoin okay right so for implementing this uh, equijoin uh, minimum we require a two table uh, here we are going to create those two tables uh, such as employees and uh, departments we will create our uh, first table its employees create table table name is employees with the columns we will give m by id as a number then we will give department id also here number then m name where care 2 of 30 also we will give m salary as number Now we will execute this query. Here we can see table created. Now we will insert some rows uh, into our table employees. Here is the query. We are going to insert these uh, four rows into our table employees. We will execute. And here we can see all four rows inserted. Now we will verify our table using select statement. Select star from table name is employees. Here we can see the data. Okay, now we will create our second table that is uh, departments. It's a create table, table name we will give departments. Uh, with the columns, department ID as number. Then we will give a department DPT name, where care 2 of 30. Also, we will give a department head okay where care 2 of 30 we will execute this query table created now we will insert some data into this uh, table uh, departments we are going to insert uh, these uh, four values into this table departments we will execute this query so these are four rows inserted now we will verify our table departments select star from table name is departments here we can see the result set okay here we can see the result set uh, for the both tables so that is employees and departments now we are going to uh, retrieve records uh, from these both tables employees and departments uh, using equijoins we will uh, retrieve the columns emp id department id emp name from employees uh, also we will uh, retrieve department name from these departments we will see the query for that select we required emp id from employees 
employees dot emp id then we required employees dot department id dpt id employees dot emp name also we will retrieve departments dot department name dpt name from our first table is employees in our second table name is uh, departments now we have to specify the condition where employees department id equals departments dpt id we will execute and we will uh, see the output here we can see the result emp id department id emp name department name okay in this query uh, here we can see uh, we given a department id from the uh, table employees uh, here what we will do uh, we will uh, add department id from departments table also uh, it's same okay and we will see that departments dot dpt id now we will run this query and here we can see the result this department id is from employees and this department id is from uh, departments and we can see only matching rows are returned in the result set okay right now in this query we given the where clause suppose in this equi join we are not mentioning this where clause what happens we will see that is there any error or it will return uh, any result set we will hide this uh, line and we will execute yes we are getting the result there is no error here we can see a 16 rows selected so we can see this query now works like a uh, cross join we will see this uh, cross join uh, in the next video so stay tuned right now we are going to uh, shorten this equi join using alias so here we are going to give alias for this uh, table uh, for employees uh, we will give employees space e and for this departments we will give uh, as d now we can replace all these uh, table name uh, by uh, alias so for employees we given e e dot m by d here e dot dpt id and this is uh, e dot m by name and here we have uh, departments we will give d dot department name from employees e comma departments d where so for this uh, table name we can give the alias it's uh, e dot department id equals d dot department id so we will execute this query and here we can see the same result right so that's all about equi join now we will go to non equi join okay here we are not going to use the equal symbol the non equi join is a join which match column values from different tables based on an inequality so instead of the equal sign uh, we can use greater than less than greater than equals less than or equal expressions yes nothing difficult the value of the join column in each row in the source table is compared to the corresponding values in the target table a match is found if the expression based on inequality operator using the join evaluates to true okay coming to the example for this non equi join uh, for this example here we will use these uh, two uh, tables employees and departments here we can see uh, our previous query uh, it's uh, equi join and here we can see the condition we given uh, where e dot department id equals d dot department id so we have to change this uh, equal uh, sign here right so we will uh, modify this query where 
here we will give uh, we have a column called uh, emb salary in our table employees so here we are going to give uh, e dot emb salary between 50,000 and 70,000 now we will execute this query and we will see the result here we can see the result here we cannot see the EMBA salary so we can add it here uh, EMBA ID department ID here we can give better we will give here uh, it's in a table employees so alias we given is E E dot EMBA salary comma now we will execute this query and here we can see the result sure if you observe this output uh, we have only one employee uh, whose salary between 50,000 and 70,000 uh, his name is uh, Eric but here we can see uh, we have total four rows and we can see it is the Cartesian product of uh, that uh, these two tables uh, employees and uh, uh, departments uh, with this uh, condition it means uh, from the first table uh, I mean employees uh, we have only one row uh, that is MP ID is 103 uh, department ID is 3 uh, then MB name is uh, Eric and MB salary is uh, this uh, 66,000 this row is joined with the all rows in the departments so that's why we get this uh, four rows here if we want to filter it more we can filter it and we can get the result set as per our requirements uh, suppose even here we can give and d dot dpt id greater than 3 you will see the result here we can see the result well in this video we have seen equi join and non equi join i feel you are clear with this concept equi join and non equi join friends if you have any doubt any suggestions please comment below and we thank all our viewers uh, for the great support and we expect the same in the future so stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video Thank you.